Hey guys, today we're going to talk about five really effective ways for you to revise. Now the best way, in my opinion, is past papers. The examiners, I'm sure they're lovely, lovely people, but they're not the most imaginative people in the world ever. And they ask the same questions over and over and over and over again. So, if you go through all the past papers, just sit there, do them, get the mark schemes, go through all of them. For science at the moment, we've got papers stretching back all the way to 2012. That's loads and loads of papers. You won't be able to get last of these papers until um, May, and uh, the May just before your exam. So that's why we as teachers have like a, um, an unseen version that we can give you as your mock. But you can get loads and loads of papers stretching back numbers and numbers of years. And the fantastic thing about this is they ask the same questions over and over and over again. So you'll get used to the style of the exam papers, you'll get used to what sort of questions they ask, and you'll get used to the sort of things the examiners are looking for in the answers. The next great thing you can do is flashcards. I have made loads and loads of flashcard video for you, which are useful, which are really, really good. But it's going to be much, much better if you make your own flashcards. Then you can just sit there, quiz yourself if it's like the adverts on television or if you're waiting for like a bus. Just get the flashcards out, just quiz yourself on stuff. It's a really, really great way to, to recall quick facts. It's not necessarily so good for like the, the longer subjects like English and history where you have to do a lot of writing. But for facts, the subjects with a lot of fact recall, so like science, it is a really, really good thing to do. Now loads and loads of you are going to have revision guides and this is nice if you're using them correctly. What you need to be doing is not just reading through them because that is rubbish. What you need to be doing is making notes from the revision guides. So get a page to your revision guide, maybe like, um, or a section or a topic, get a big bit of A3 paper and we're talking like making posters and making mind maps here. Now, I'm not talking the kind of posters where you spend half an hour making a beautiful, beautiful title and it takes up three quarters of the page. That's not necessarily a very useful revision poster. Do your mind maps with like the central bits and it doesn't have to be big, make it small. You're the only person that's ever gonna see this, so if it's not perfect, that's okay. It's allowed to be a little bit messy have all the key points coming off and then make a large mind map and then put that to one side and then the next time you come to revise that topic maybe a week later or a month later get that big mind map and get an A4 bit of paper so a bit of paper half the size and take all of that information and shrink it down and then put that bit of paper to one side as well and then a month later come back to it and get a smaller bit of paper and shrink all of that information down onto that bit of paper so what you're making is basically your own little revision guide. Now this is really, really good because that actually the act of writing stuff down will help it solidify in your brain. One of the best ways you can learn a topic is by teaching other people. So you are going to learn nothing, I'm afraid to say this, by just like listening to someone talk. If you are taking information in, sorting it all out and then like talking at somebody or at a group of people and explaining the information in a slightly different way, you are properly, properly learning it. So what I suggest you do is you get yourself a little group of friends together, maybe like three, maybe four. You don't want it to be too big because then it would just descend into gossip. So maybe like three or four people, divide up topics in physics or chemistry or whatever and then say this time next week we're going to come back, we're going to bring some cake and you're going to teach this topic, you're going to teach this topic, you're going to teach this topic and you're going to teach this topic. Okay, so just teaching other people is a really, really great way to revise. Now, what you can do with this, and I've seen loads and loads of these channels springing up, is start making YouTube videos about it. So, like I do, just make a little video for a topic. Um, instead of making a big mind map, or instead of teaching other people, combine both of them in one thing and make YouTube videos. Now, this doesn't have to be fancy. This doesn't have to be like amazing. It can just be bits of paper and you can just record it on your phone. But the advantage of doing this is that 
it's notes that you've made so you're not just reading from textbook so we're talking like the big big mind map making it smaller notes that you've made and you are teaching other people and the cherry on top is that you get to go back and watch your own videos over again so it's you explaining it to you and surely you are going to be the person that you listens to the most so five ways that you can effectively revise past papers flashcards mind maps getting together in a group and um teaching each other and making your own little youtube videos to teach everyone else so, um, I hope those are helpful guys, um, I'm going to do loads and loads more revision tips for you, if there's anything you need just ask and I'll do my very very best to help you.